Welcome, everyone, to Monkey Game Triple. This one's a bit of a uh, nostalgia hit for me. This was my first in the series. Uh, I'll be playing the GBA version, which has a different soundtrack, and that's the one I have specific nostalgia for. Oh, th there's some cool dogs going ape shit outside my house. That's great. This is one of my first real video games ever. This is like alongside Mario Galaxy. This is before Mario Galaxy. So, I, I got some I got some good memories of this game. Some people say this game's not very good. Uh, they're literally just, like, wrong. They're literally just incorrect. This is, like, as good as DKC2, in my opinion. Right up there. And the music rocks. Ooh, woo. Why have I done this? Yeah, here we are. I tried for so long as a kid to get back up that path that you jumped down. And I was like, you go there in the end game, or something. Nope. That's where the final boss is. I think that cave actually is something, though. Here the hell we are. This is so nostalgic. The music and everything. So, the GBA version, I've never played the SNES version, but to my understanding, it's basically the same game, but just, uh, David Wise only did part of the soundtrack for the original, and this one he did the entire soundtrack, I believe. This is like an aesthetic-ass, like, liminal-ass, Grim Fandango-ass room right here. Oh yeah, and those little banana birds, that's a big side quest throughout the game. You gotta play fucking Simon Says <laughs> to get them. Some of them. This one I think you get for doing one of his things. Oh look, it's Kitty Kong! Everybody's least favorite playable Kong, but whatever. He's only here for one game. He is kind of annoying, but he's basically just DK again. These boat minigames, I remember these being kind of frustrating, actually. I'm not sure if that was just because I was a little gay-ass baby or whatever. Nice, look at this, we got the ride, and I think there's a secret right here. Easy, Bounty Beach, this is the Simon Says. Okay. Easy. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, here we are. This is the good shit. The, this is one of those levels where they start off with, like, ambient sound. And then they- and then they just hit you with the jams. Also, secrets. Secrets. Oh! Forgot about that secret. I was just trying to get the K letter. Okay, so these guys are in every level. You have to hit them from behind. Like Wiz Khalif- what do they say? Hit- hit the- Dab? <laughs> from behind, like Wiz Khalifa? Have I made a rap reference? <laughs> This is the world, I talked about this in Dark Souls 3, there are some enemies that have this stock burping sound effect. And, uh, this is the game, I, I was like, that's in Donkey Kong Country 3, this is the world that has that boss that makes that burping sound effect. This music. And the switches! I remember this, god, the background looks real crusty though. Real dusty and crusty. So I don't know if the, like, SNES soundtrack just, like, blew massive fucking chunks or what. Because people seem to have a lowered opinion of this game compared to the others. Hold on. Swap them. Flop them. Hit them up there. Yahoo. Secret man. <gasps> oh. 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 That was close. I was making real monkey sounds. When Kitty Kong dies, it's the worst sound ever. He like screams and it's terrible. The ones with those freaky bears heads on. That's one of those sentences, I always remembered how, like, weirdly phrased that was, and in retrospect, that's totally because Rareware is, uh, based in Britain. That's such a, such a British phrasing. Help me deflect these spiky critters with my trusty sheep. Yeah, hell yeah. He's in his gi. Nice. And this is it. You just shield the things. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. You have completed the master's challenge. Take this bird. Just in his hand. Take this bird. Kitty Kong's like... Eats it. This part kind of blew my mind when the path just goes into the water and I was like... Where do I go? Where do I go? And I think I actually like could not figure out to just go over to the next trail of bananas and I like went up here. God, it's all coming flooding back. Oh yeah! Oh, this guy! Yo, this guy's a Sigma male, dude! This guy's literally like the most Sigma of all males. Check this out. It's his bachelor pad. His name is Bachelor! Actually, he's chasing pussy, so he's not a real Sigma male. Sigma bear. Squidward male. Yeah, this part of the song, doesn't that go so hard? Oh, and the worst thing, you can't collect this banana as on guard. Oh, that used to piss me off. All oh, these buggages. I remember these fucks. 
I remember these fucks. And then I couldn't get up there, and then I tried to bounce up there as Kitty Kong for like years and couldn't do it. God damn it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It can be done. It can be done. <laughs> Shit. Skidda's Row. Oh, right! Oh my god, the yodeling. I kind of forgot about the yodeling. Also, is that a Banjo and Kazooie reference? Bum, bum. It's so weird. This shit is just ingrained into my memory. I haven't listened to these songs in, like, probably actually a decade, and I can actually just sing along with them. <laughs> nice. He went for it, and he got it. Because he's a god gamer. Um, you know what? This one's just for you folks at home who can't fucking stand it when I do that. I have- I have lost the love of my life. No, Kitty and- Kitty and, uh, Dixie, I don't think have any sort of- Kitty Kong is such a nothing character. Like, I think DK64 came after this, and they were just like, Kitty Kong? Who's that? Nah, we got Chunky Kong. This minigame, I remember this being weird. This is like some 3D shit. He used to do this dumbass quiz in the old ones, but, uh... Or in the previous entries. Now it's like a weird tunnel of hell. Oh god. Oh, it looks weird. Oh god. Oh, this music. I, I remember this, but I don't remember it looking this fucking schnasty. <laughs> Yo, this is the boss that burps. Belch's barn. I remember this. He has the stock burp sound effect. That's the one. Nice. Get fucked. Teabag him. Teabag him. Teabag him. Oh, oh, Kitty Kong's dancing. He's dancing. I swear this entire stream is not just going to be stories of me being a dumbass as a little kid. But I remember this level in particular, swinging spiders. I, like, couldn't figure out... I was. I thought I was just, like, locked into this room. I didn't see the little door there. Or actually, I think... I think I got into this room, and I thought it was something to do with, like, jumping up onto that branch up there. No, I think that's what it was. And I, I didn't notice the door on the other side to, like, get to that other room. And I just thought, I can't get up there. I just suck at this. Why can't I do it? And then, no, I think I actually asked my sister. And she was like, Jacob, there's a, there's a door right there. And she had never, like, touched a video game in her life, probably. And I was like, oh, these bees are fucking loud. I feel like I'm yelling over the bees. Oh, I think in this game you can actually do the strat where you carry a DK barrel. Oh, it might immediately get it yeeted though. Oh god. And it's like if one of your characters dies, you just immediately have a backup. Okay, well, they are dead. The unborn Donkey Kong sibling will never see the light of day. Oh shit, Brash's record. I remember this one. This one is like an- it's like a hold right level. And- oh yeah, and the water changes in the music! Yo, that's something they kind of brought back in Returns. I just realized that actually originated from this game. Fuck. This level's really cool, honestly. And it's like you- it's like a speedrun level, you gotta like, get a good time on it to- to pass. Oh shit. Oh yeah, and the little flies, they hurt you if you slow down. Okay. Yeah! Here we go, here we go, here we go! Yeah! You do it for the style. Do it for the grace. Do it to absolutely annihilate an innocent rat. Oh my god, this animal. The most forgotten of the of the Kong animal friends. I think it's called Perry the Parallel Bird. And it just stays above you. God. What a trash animal companion. But I love it. Barrel shield bust up. Oh, right. The monkeys. This is monkeys throwing poop at you. The level. This is a monkey poop level. I think they're, like, actually supposed to be nuts or something. Okay, look at this. Little, little monkeys. Chucking their nuts. Wow, why did I go for that? Ready for the worst sound? There it is. He just screams. It's terrible. I used to get, like, annoyed at Kitty Kong when I died a lot in this game. Because I hated the sound that he made. Just never stopped climbing. Literally never stopped climbing. Okay. Is there a little bit of sound crust going on here? Oh, also, this barrel takes you to the fucking end of the level. Oops, skipped the level. See that riverbank race? I ran that in 115. You couldn't do it in double that time. Wow, suck my fucking dick, asshole. Just to spite this man. 
We gotta go, gotta go fast. Oh, already suboptimal. Maybe I should switch to Kitty Kong. Hold on. So we can skip on the water. Shit. Okay. Oh, God. Come on. No! Oh, bruh. Din. Omega choke. Omega choke. Omega choke. All right, roll. Yeah. You yeah, get fucked, brash. So now I think I get something from him. Maybe just coins? I don't know. What? <laughs> the, the way it's spelled, it sounds like Professor Farnsworth said it. You made me so angry! Oh, right! He, like, yeets something. He yeets a piece of trash down the river. What a, what a shit moment. He goes like, Rah! and then just a piece of wood just, like, shittily floats down the river. I was expecting him to, like, bash the bridge or something, but no. Um, oh, this is a bonus, right? No? There's one where, since your guy automatically floats in the water, you need to, like, get up high and, like, bounce down into the water with a certain velocity. Uh, oh, here we go. These fucks. Look at these fucks. Okay, come on. Yeah! That's so cool. What a fun puzzle. Eric's Horde! Arik! Right, the final boss of this world is a big-ass spider called Arik. Actually, wait! Hate to go back and forth a bunch of times. That's Quelag's domain. This fucking guy. I remember this guy. Okay, so you gotta bonk him in the face, and he goes... <laughs> makes disgusting fucking, like, phlegm noise. Is this guy gonna be, like, joke easy? This guy gave me so much trouble as a kid. No, right, he, like, bounces around for a bit and spits things. I remember this. Oh, what? That hurt me? Normally you bounce off his legs. I know that seemed like I just hit, like, a volatile part of his body, but that was actually jank. Oh, shit. Okay, that was real. That was an actual... That was the pointy part. Hopefully just one more. Nice. Wow, he went flying. A patch? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, yeah. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Wow, just zoomed right onto his dick. <laughs> Dixie, no, you should be wearing eye protection. And now... Whee! You can just hop right over those. Oh, and we get some of the best worlds now. Fireball Frenzy. Oh, yeah. This one's got owls that shoot at you. Prick fucking owls. Oh, but the music is so good. The long-awaited sequel to Cows with Guns. Owls with Guns. All present and correct, I see. Marvelous. I fought in the Crimean War. Oh, my God. Lore. This is what we're all here for, you know? Jumping around, collecting bananas. That's all window dressing to the lore. Oh, shit, yeah, these tunnel levels. These are cool, too. Oh, yeah! Yeah, this level's lit. This is the new vehicle level. It's this weird thing that, like, attaches to the ceiling. I don't even know what to call this. It's like a sled, but they're just on solid metal. I think I remember there was a way to play this level. I discovered this as a kid, and it was the hypest shit. There was a way to play through this level without the cart. You could, like, skip the cart. My first slick trick of all time. It might- that might have been the very- the very first one. I don't know. Ripsaw Rage. Oh, fuck! We're already here! Oh, this one- this level was, like, CBT. Like, the happy, nice music. It's like, no, this is not happy or nice. I do not approve. Oh shit, there wasn't actually a secret thing in there. Why did I do that? Oh! Because I can make it. Easily. Uh. Okay. Uh. Oh, I'm invincible. Nice. Oh shit, low G labyrinth. Even just like seeing the overworld for this. I'm like, oh yeah, this is the floaty level where you go slow. Yeah, this bird fucking sucks. Someone said this bird worst bird. Uh, it's... <laughs> it can't spit eggs, but it can grab barrels. Guys, how fun is that? There's also actually... I, I hate to say it, but there might be a worse bird in DKC2. Not only is there the evil bird that you have to race against, but there's also... The bird that you have to, uh... That, that can only fly slowly down. And, and nothing else. That one fucking sucks. Oh, and then let's not forget...
carry the parallel bird. Lest we fucking forget. Oh, Chaos Carnage! This is the robot. This boss is... I feel like its patterns are burnt into my brain. Where it just floats back and forth and spews fire on the ground a little bit. And then little blades come out of the side of it, and you jump up and you bonk the head. Like so. He never gets this head part back, though. That turns into a singular ski. Of course. Obviously. And why wouldn't it? We get the other ski from the other world that we could have gone to. They sure don't make boss battles like they used to. One attack pattern's enough for any gamer. Wow, he literally says the word attack pattern. Damn. And gamer. Oh. The underwater levels. They look so good. Look at this. Oh, and the music. Hell yeah. We're getting a, a little bit of a taste of the menu music here. The drums. God, this music is burnt into my brain. Bedded deep in long-term memory. God, the music is actually just like a remix of Aquatic Ambience. And I never, like, realized that until just now. <laughs> like, straight up, it's just got... It doesn't even just resemble it. It just straight up is it. Yo, are you fucking frying chicken in there? What is that? Does this not just sound like King K. Rule is over in the other room? Oh, never mind. The music started right as I turned it up. Just taking a big leak. So many of these levels I just remember taking ages to the point where like... Did you ever get that feeling as a kid playing a game where you get to like a different part of the game and you're like, wow, I'm like a different person now. You know? I've gone through so much. I've learned so much in my life leading up to this point of going to World 3. <laughs> there was a death sound effect on... I, I should like download the ROM of this just so I can show you, or I guess I could just get out my Game Boy. But... When Toad dies in Super Mario Advance, which is a remake of Super Mario Bros. 2, uh, he lets out this scream that goes on for like an hour. It's insanity. He goes like, <coughs> It's like, that's like not an exaggeration. It goes on for that long, but it like gets really quiet at, towards the end. So you like can't hear it super well. But, uh, oh! Wow. Uh, it is... insane. What is Diaper Monkey called? <laughs> He's Kitty Kong. They should have just called him Diaper Kong. Poop your own goddamn self, Kong. God, this menu screen. Even this is nostalgic. Classic shit. It's like when I paused in New Super Mario Brothers, and it made the little sound, and I was like... <sighs> oh shit. Oh fuck this level. I remember this. You have to feed this guy fish to keep him from getting all pissed off. Oh, this one's stressful as hell. Oh, yeah, and he doesn't like those. Right, 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 right. Feed him. FEED HIM! EAT IT! This is why this level sucks. I knew this level sucked. <sighs> Someone just pointed out that Kitty Kong is constantly swallowing seawater. Because he's just opening his mouth. He's, he's like filter feeding. He's like gulp, gulp, gulp. Just drinking that shit. He's drinking water and peeing it out at the exact same rate. Thus creating a perfect state of equilibrium. Oh, this is an interesting one. Okay, too bad this fish fucking sucks dick. Did you see that? I had it, like, perfectly aligned, but he just kind of, like, swooped around it. Okay, this is the boss. This is the boss that I got stuck on, because I didn't realize you could suck! You have to shoot his fucking eyes. And they make a sound like a literal fucking, like, clown threw a custard pie in someone's face, I guess. It's a weird fucking thing, too. It's like, what even am I looking at? It's like a weird... Uh, this is... You know what this is? This is a yokai. This is a fucking, like, Japanese waterfall spirit. <laughs> so that just pushes you. It's one of the things that makes this boss a little frustrating, is that the way that you die is by not getting hit, it's just by getting shoved. 
Abra! God damn it, I really thought I could just push it. I didn't have any juice. Okay, wow, I literally, uh, I just, I just, I just didn't, didn't stay on the platform there. It's like, if you jump, you can get around it, for sure. Yeah. Come on! No! Oh, I think I did it, actually. This is the clock formation. Yeah! Oh, he pogged! He went like... Nice. Oh, and the waterfall dried up. Bye, bitch. Whatever, like, spirit that was, I just killed it. This area is gonna wither away and die. Still, it's another step closer to rescuing Diddy. It's like, we literally just killed a deity that is necessary for the universe to exist. That was like the spirit of all water. We're all gonna fucking starve now. I almost just said drown. We're gonna die of thirst. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you swim in the water here, you're swimming in the flag. I always noticed that as a kid, and I was like, WHAT'S HAPPENING THERE?! HOMIE! Oh, shit! Yo! This is one of the best songs. I used to think they were saying that it was a voice saying Yum Banana. Yum Banana, Yum Banana, Yum Banana, Yum Banana, Yum Banana! You know, because they're monkeys. I don't know, you think stupid things when you're a kid. But this is genuinely one of the biggest bangers on the soundtrack. I guess uh, Donkey Kong Land is the other one that I need to play. And that one is... That one's weird. It's a Game Boy remake of Donkey Kong Country 1. And unlike Donkey Kong Land 2 and 3, Donkey Kong Land 1 actually varies quite a bit from the original game. So I'm gonna play that too. I've heard it's weird. Maybe bad. We'll, we'll see. Fuck. Stop. I'm holding- uh, this is as fast as I can fucking swim. Stop! That is such a dick move. That is such- that is just an outright dick move! That is just a penis maneuver. Stop. Stop. Stop! Thank God. I've never been so relieved to hear the sound of sizzling frying chicken. We get another one of the, uh, cart ride levels. I think, is this the one where you can skip it? I think it is, hold on. Gotta try. Yeah! Or no, wait. Yeah! I skipped the barrel that launches- Alright, here's the big- this- this boss always made me uncomfortable. It's got like big stretchy meat that you gotta hit. Look at its face. Um, do I need to kill one of these? Make it actually progress. Oh, right, yeah! And then it goes... Makes a fucking nauseating sound. <laughs> shit! Yeah! It has, like, physics. Oh, shit! Yeah, that was a... Uh, that, I just pressed the wrong button there. I was like, I'm locked into death, but I could have actually just held onto the charge and survived. Oh, I remember this. It shoots, like, homing shells at you, right? Yeah. This is a lot like- actually, this is so similar to the dummy fight in Undertale. I'm just now realizing. Fuck. Oh, it chased me, even in death. Alright, now dodge. Okay, good. Simply well done. Magnificent fucking job, dude. Get fucked. Please let that be the end. Nope, it wasn't. He's dead. Cranky Kong, what are you doing underwater? You can't breathe! Actually, I can't breathe. Someone said the music for the bonus level is definitely better in GBA than in SNES. I got so many comments, or like a hefty handful on the VOD. People not, not being rude or anything, but uh, just saying it. this is so cursed because they played the SNES version and they're like, it's all wrong. Everything's different, but it's the same. But it's different. And the music, what, what gave them the right? It's like so few people I feel like have actually heard this, uh, this particular OST. And that's such a shame, because it's- it's good. Is this just a trek to this guy? Okay. Interesting. Uh... Oh, shit! Is there a wall? Okay. I was like, do I need to, like, ride this one? What kind of, like, hokey fucking strats do we need to do? Oh, my god. Well, 
I don't think we needed to do that, but I pulled off the exact hokey fucking strat that I, I proposed. Idly. That was pretty cool. Pretty slick. What we got? Oh, right. Oh, I remember the fuck out of this level. Oh, this level was annoying. <laughs> I remember that laugh. I feel like this is something that, like, really fucked me up as a kid because I just didn't really understand what was happening. But now it's gonna be really easy to avoid. Like, I'm kind of embarrassed for my past self. Because I remember this- I game over many times doing this. <laughs> yeah, that laugh is burnt into my brain. He's just kicking it up while two-year-old me is like, <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. No, I was like 13 when I played it, but I was behind the curve on video games. Okay. Oh shit, right! Oh, I remember this one! Yo, this is awesome! You play as the guy! <laughs> See how they like it. Snipe. Oh shit. The cooldown keeps fucking me up. Nice. Oh, and I gotta shoot the coin! That one's so fucking cool. Snow problem! Snow way! Uh, fuck you. Oh shit, Bleak's house. Look at the face, the angry face in the snow. And this guy is incredibly fucking weird. You, you, you have a snowball fight with him. Also, the sky is like blood fucking red. What's up with that? The blood moon just fucking with us again? Yeet! This bitch empty. This music sounds like someone is playing Superstar Saga music on, like, a speaker inside an actual cave. Be careful. Now, insert... Insert barrel. Fuck you. Okay, let's do this the other way, because that was actually kind of sane. Okay, and trying to do it, I could not do it. That do be the way it do be, though. It's a good thing there's a genie here making barrels infinitely spawn in. If this genie was not here, we would be in a tight fucking spot. Standard insertion procedure. Look at that. Perfect drop. Giga brain. I remember always thinking he was like doing a disco pose. Like, hey. hold on. No, shit, no. I need to do it just so I can dance. He's doing like the Saturday Night Fever. Do, do you get what I'm saying? Was it worth the bear coins, that terrible bit? I don't know how, like, two-year-old, like, semen-year-old me knew what Saturday Night Fever was. I just knew there was a disco dance where you point up. Oh, shit! I remember this one. Some fucker lit the end of the rope on fire. Oh, this is such a fun concept for a level. I immediately got fucked. That's so scummy. Oh, what is- so what is that? What am I supposed to do there? I tried to drift there, but when you're in ball monkey form, you can't do it. When you're being, like, blasted out of an asshole. Oh, ho, ho. Shit got kind of real in this level. This is fucked up. The fact that you can't really- you, you don't really know what's coming for the most part. Like... You, you're really at the mercy of the, the shortness of the screen here. Like how chody it is. Whoa. Look at that. Now I'm really at the end of my rope. Why does it- it looks like a two-year-old drew the outside. Look at that. It looks like Earthbound out there. It looks like one of those rugs with the road and like the town on it. What the fuck? Also- <laughs> How are you, my fine furry? <laughs> I'm gonna make that like, you know when you have an email? And it like, it's like, you, you can sign your name at the beginning, or by default. I'm gonna have mine say, how are you, my fine furry? Does pressing B just like, give you iframes? Is that what I just discovered there? It makes you, make it so you can kill something from any side. Okay, so the gimmick of this level is that it's like, dark and you have to light it up. Sometimes. But I feel that's really not being like, an obstruction. Yet. That being said, while I was saying that sentence, I ran into a thing. I remember trying to get these guys that, like, open and close really fast. And I don't know if I was ever able to do it. What's gonna- Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. That was amazing. I was like, what's gonna be down here? And I used my trick. And also, I did the thing that I could never accomplish as a child. 
This is a big moment for me. Yo, wait, you can step on those guys? Excuse me? I never knew that. Am I on the spider still? No, I am not. Okay, wow. That was bullshit. The fuck? Oh, this boss. Uh, yeah, I was like, can I even remember what this is? Without the hint, I wouldn't have been able to, but this is like a robot octopus thing. Actually, no, it's not even a robot. It's just a weird fucking thing. Oh, I remember this, this boss being hard, actually. <laughs> it looks so weird. You gotta get it to grab the bombs with its little grabby claws. Oh yeah, and then it like bounces out of the water, right? Yeah. God, what a fucking weird thing. Can we get this in Smash? I think eventually the bombs get a uh, shorter fuse, too. Oh, fuck me. Look at the, like, piss green water. This is his swamp. Okay, well, we are Dixie now. Can't actually pick up these bombs, unfortunately. Oh, oh! I think this one's gonna take a little while. I, I think I'm I'm now understanding the like the way the phases work here. Look, he's getting red. He's gonna cry. He's blushing. This thing, I feel like do you ever feel like there are certain Nintendo like enemies or bosses that just we need to talk about more? This is one of those. Where it's like, why why do we not talk about this boss? This boss is an abomination that should be put to rest forever. I want Shigeru Miyamoto in a Nintendo Direct to cap this thing in the brain. Oh. Goodbye. Uh, people talk about, like, Cranky Kong in the in the Mario movie. Something I didn't realize until I watched that little bit again is that, uh, when they said Spike, it's fucking Spike from Wrecking Crew, not Spike the Mario enemy from, like, Mario 3. The little icon shows the little Wrecking Crew guy, so not only is Cranky Kong going to be involved, but Wrecking Crew is going to be part of the lore, which I I'm really excited to see what the developments are there. No, uh, of course I am not actually. Baffles Code Room. Forgot about the scrub. Look at him. He's like interrogating whoever walks into it. He's got the interrogation chair there. I never really put that together as a kid. Oh shit, the ghosts! Yo, this is a great level though. I'm totally down for this. The spooky ghost barrels. These are like an evolution of the ghost ropes in DKC2. Yeah, this is fun. What a, what a neat concept. Ghosts, I mean. Nice. So Dixie Kong can't kill one of those guys, but a little shitty piece of web from the drip spider. Fucking Jaleel White spider. Oh, fuck. Is more powerful than an entire Dixie Kong. Sexism. Brilliant. Monkey happy! Imagine at the end of this, there's just a little cutscene where they've got all the banana birds together and they're like, Yay, now you're gonna take us to our mommy, right? And they're like, Oh no! No, 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 no! We are going to eat you! And then they, it's just like gore. It just turns into sausage party. Basically, food gore. <laughs> Not like that, right? Okay, nope, like that. Whatever way you're supposed to do it, we'll never know. I gotta get the swag. Oh, this boss is long. Long Kong. Oh no, the hooks. The hooks. All right, there he is. He's behind the curtain. That's like gotta be a Wizard of Oz reference, right? Rareware are enough nerds to do that reference. It's not like a niche reference, but nerds. Also, my wife's gonna kill me. What the fuck? K. Rule canonically has a wife? Like, totally forgot about that. I thought that's what he was. Wait, did Kitty Kong say that? What the fuck? Has Kitty Kong had any dialogue? That's like when Link talks in Zelda 2. And he's like, I found a mirror. And you're like, whoa, whoa, Link, you're not supposed to talk. If it wasn't for you meddling kids. Wait, literal Scooby-Doo reference. This is kind of blowing my mind. There's a lot of lore here. It's like, dude, just don't make a machine 
in your room that specifically protects the Kongs and creates the thing that hits you, that kills you. This seems pretty simple. Yeet. That is so brutal. <laughs> That's so fucked up. How do you do that to a man? Oh! Hello. What you doing? What's gonna happen now? Okay. What the fuck was I supposed to do there? Excuse me? <laughs> Look at little dopey ass shitter ass Kong. A man is dying off screen and he's like, Bleh. All right, look at that. That's the way to do it. Now are we just dropping things directly onto him? What are we doing here? What's, what's the game plan? Fuck you. A barrel has arrived. It's like, really good plan. Make machines that dispense the thing that hurts you, and then just sort of like, putter around, man. Surely it'll work one day. At least in DKC2, he like, shot you. With a gun. He was, he was a little more, you know, proactive. Who is... who's gonna play K. Rool in the movie? <laughs> Steve Buscemi, perhaps? Oh shit, that was it. Bye. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm, I'm so glad they weren't standing like two feet to the right. They would have been killed! Also, this is just DK talking. Damn. One minute I was dreaming about the world's biggest pile of bananas. That's right, I remember that line. Because it's so funny. Power crazed madman. So he got like brainwashed a little bit? They did some like Shadaloo shit to him. Oh look, they're yeah, they're gonna whoop his ass! Yeah! Whoop his ass! They're using the sprites from the snowman fight. Uh. And then they just beat the shit out of him. Blood everywhere. I did it. So yeah, there is a world after this. But, uh, what a great game. I, I had a fucking blast replaying it. Uh, and I remember as a kid, 100%ing it was just a ton of fun, too. And I think I just need to, like, drive around this a few times. Am I doing it? <laughs> Am I doing it? I might have to Google what to do here. Oh, nope, I did it! I've done it! Nice. It's Kremtoa. Yeah! Oh, and this is the part where you need the coins, I think. You pay him to this guy. Oh, it's bonus coins. Look, BOOMER! 18 coins. Oh, God. So to do all of this, I would have to go get all the bonus barrels. Mm. I have found a solution. Giga Brain has kicked in. So, here's the strat. Instead of actually getting the coins, going and getting all the bonus coins we need, we're going to cheat! My famous move, cheating! So if you type in Aqua here, then, uh, it just gives you all the coins that you need. Let's do it, Boomer! Look at that, 62 coins. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Alright, get a good look at these little flames. It's the last time you'll ever see them! Stampede Sprint. Oh, fuck this one. This is the one with the mice at the very beginning. It's like you play as the elephant, and you get, like, insta-spooked. Oh my god! Okay, and instantly I've eaten the shit. Oh god. I think keeping that thing alive till the end is crucial. Okay, we are doing super good! Super good! Um. Nice. What do I get? B. That's so fun. I like when the reward is the bonus barrel. Uh, oh shit, look at this. Now I get to have a little bit of fun with this stupid fucking bird. Uh, hey. Quick question. My eyes! Also, oh, this level's so fucking fun! Look at that, sometimes- okay. Sometimes there's two barrels that are really close together to one another. Have you guys noticed this? I was thinking, I was like, I guess I'm just holding a button at some- at some junctions, because the rhythm of going up, sometimes it's like, bink, 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 bink. And it did a double right before I died, and I think it's something to do with, like, the screen is scrolling, and it's spawning them in weirdly. I know this sounds like Omega Johns. Oh my god. But, uh... It genuinely feels like that's a thing! 
Fuck me. Look at that. Okay, it just happened. I was holding down the jump button that entire time, but it went bing, 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 bing. Clear as day. Plain as day. Irrefutable fucking evidence, Your Honor. I propose that it is in fact the game that sucks, and not me. I- I hate this. I hate this. It's really hard to time, because they're moving so fast. Is this the guy that beat this level with BOTH KONGS? He even got the gear! Can I kill- oh my god, I can even kill these fucks. Oh, that's amazing. That's insane. The web is so powerful. What is that shit made out of? I mean, haven't I heard somewhere that, like, spider silk is the most durable material ever? Or it's ten times more durable than steel or something? And it's just that it's in such fine amounts in, in spider webs that, uh... Fuck me. But it's like, oh, if we could synthesize the material, it'd be the strongest thing ever, man. Yeah, spiders eating birds is fucked up. You know what's fucked up? Fun Donkey Kong stream, by the way. Uh, pelicans. <clears throat> you like pelicans? Funny bird, right? Finding Nemo. Uh, they eat baby birds sometimes. They'll eat other birds' babies. And, and they just put them in their mouth and just, like, keep chomping. In, in their, their, like, weird beak. And it's mortifying to watch. It's like, you think watching a snake eat something is gross? Nah, mate. Watch a pelican eat something. You might puke. You might cry. Maybe piss and cum. So, fun fact, before I figured out that there was a cheat code, I was kind of considering... just opening up my old Game Boy. Because I have, like, a 100%ed a save file on there. And just, uh having the webcam on, and just having, like, the shittiest vision ever for the last few levels. But that would've- that would've got exhausting real quick. Fuck! Yo, Rocket Rush! This is a great gimmick. I remember this level. This is hype. You have to manage your fucking fuel, that's insane. Uh, can I go? Wait, what? Uh, clearly I'm misunderstanding the controls. Do we, do we go down? Oh, we go down. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck. I think alongside the music changing underwater, there was also a version of this. The rocket barrel returned in uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, right? I seem to remember that was a thing. This is like a better version of the stupid, like, falling bird from DKC2 that can only fly slowly downwards. I remember this level is no slouch either, which makes sense. Can you see a little face in the window there? Is that what I'm seeing? There's like something in the window, there's a little porthole. Is that supposed to be one of our Kong protagonists? Fuck you. Whoa! We lost Kitty Kong. He's just gone. Something so funny to me about their bodies just like dropping in this game. Fuck you. Okay, I, I need a new strat for that part. It don't matter. Oh! Oh, are we gonna get the thing that shoots us up? Here we go. I really don't want to run into anything. I'm getting VVVVVV flashbacks. Actually, no, this is the final minigame in WarioWare 1. That's what we're doing right now. <laughs> Controls are a little slidey! It's a little slidey! Fuck. Oh. I thought if we bumped, we crashed. I see. I think we did it, folks. Based gamer. See the little creepy moving face pop out of it. Look, that's totally supposed to be the Kongs. That is so fucked. Wow, that's a fun level. I think we have to give the gears to a certain guy. Yeah, here we go. Oh, look, he's got a little machine right there. God, what an absorbing, well-written, deep, detailed plot. Let's shove him onto this random machine that's just... just happens to be here. Sure. Why were these scattered throughout the levels? Who cares? Oh my god. Right, the water turns into fucking blood. I kind of forgot about that. It could be Kool-Aid. It's roasting in here. Wait, I think that's supposed to be lava? 
But that doesn't check out, and, and I'll tell you why that doesn't check out, folks. Because I'm still alive right now, <laughs> having jumped into the lava. Hawaiian Punch. Yeah, it's Hawaiian Punch. Nautilus. That's kind of a cool name. I never really got that pun when I was younger. What the blazes? My wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> I hate marriage. Of course, lava in Donkey Kong Country is just spicy hot water. So maybe this is expanding on the lore of the seal levels in DKC2. Big man. Right, he shrinks. He shrinks and makes it so you can't hit him. Yeah, these fights... These fights are not great, honestly. Fuck me. K. Rule boss fights have never been amazing. I'd say they're at their shittiest in the first one. And then in, uh... Oh, I see. And then in DKC 2 and 3, they're kind of, like, just weird. Like this. They're, like, not terrible. They're just kind of weird and kind of long. Final boss of DKC 2 is, is weird, but it's cool. Fuck meant to throw that upward. The one where you just dodge a huge barrage of attacks from his gun and then hit him once and it's done. It's a cute idea and it's, it's pretty well done and it's not like CBT. That was one issue with the first game was the, it was just so fucking long. Oh god, look at this conveyor belt now. Huh. Oh right, I gotta put down the barrel. Yeah! I remember this. That took me so fucking long to figure out when I was a kid. And I, I, I remember I might have had to Google it, actually. It was like at the end of elementary school, I think. Oh, shit. I killed him and died at the same time. <laughs> what, does that count? <laughs> nope. Wow. But I remember it being in my elementary school classroom in like fifth and sixth grade, playing this boss, and just being like, what the fuck do I do? I don't know how I was playing video games in class, though. I don't know why that situation happened. Yeet! There he goes. His fucking shirt came off. Is that actually it? Wow. Wow! It's a Rick in the background. Puny primate. Fuck you. So we have done all of the main game now, which leaves the true final boss, Funky's Rentals. Dear God. I'm not gonna do all the banana birds. Spoiler alert. And and you and we can leave this in the edit. You could uh, editor. Barry. Put in the put in the footage of this happening. But when you get all the banana birds, there's like a, a mama banana bird in like banana heaven. And you drop a giant eggshell on King K Rule at the end. And then his eyes come out of it and they go bleep bleep. That's all you're missing. That and like 10,000 more rounds of Simon Says. Something a bit special. If you can find all the DK coins, you can put them down on deposit at my ultimate ride. Oh. Ultimate ride. I don't know if we'll ever see that. I don't even really remember what that is, but I think I unlocked it when I was younger. Fuck, but I would need to unlock it to get... Okay. Well, depending, depending on if I can even be bothered to unlock the last one, we might just be doing the first three here. I think there's four missions here. And I think this is from some other Rareware game. These missions are, like, directly lifted from it. Oh, Jesus. Alright. And you, your boat has, like, health in this, too. Oh, Jesus, no. God, the controls are just totally different. And just jank. It's like tank controls. And I need to- I need to shoot these boat guys. Okay, good god, it's so hard to kill in a straight line. Oh, and I had to race them there, too! Fuck me! Oh, this is gonna take years. Like, look at that! Oh, this is absurd! Oh, I'm never gonna do this. I'm never gonna do this! Seven coins short for the deposit of my top gear. Top gear, guys. I'm not gonna do that. I can- I can already tell I'm not gonna do that. I'm- I might not even beat any of these missions. The one where you have to protect people in the water, that one was pure pain. It has that, like, escort mission vibe. Ooh, ooh, gaga, I'm gonna fucking murder you. Literally just... Kitty Kong with the strap. One more, one more kill. Yeah! There you go. That's what you want to see, yeah. Overtime. Hey! <laughs> Oh my god. Look how slowly these things are coming out of him. 
Is that to indicate how small a reward it is? Alright. I think you have to do all these to get his banana bird, actually. That's why I had to do them. I don't know if this one is, is utter pain like the other ones. So look, we only got one guy chasing us. We could probably kill him by just bumping into him a few times, I feel like. Maybe not. We can just U-turn like this. Not having to manage a gun at the same time is really nice. Man, I want to play Cobra Striker, or whatever the fuck. Rareware's got a ton of those old games. Like, Perfect Dark. Never, I, 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 I'm too much of a scrub to, to have known what Perfect Dark is. I mean, I know that it's a Rareware game, but I've never played it. Alright, it's a close one, folks. Scream! Get fucked. Yo, Funky got the jorts. <laughs> Funky's got a fucking tool belt, a, a, a wife beater, and jorts. That's a hardcore look. Alright, this is the one that sucks absolute balls. And look, Chunky Kong is in there. Oh my god, it's Chungus. Yo! And Candy and Lanky? What the fuck? Oh shit. Die. But they got Tiny Kong. One of the forgotten Kongs. Uh, this mission sucks absolute balls, though. I, I remember this was so enraging. Rage-inducing. Who is that? Who is, who is this on the, like, right? Chunky! No! We lost Chunky! This is kind of blowing my mind. I just thought these... Uh, I, I just remember these being, like, generic monkey people. This is good. DK. We, we got the main characters. Donkey Kong, Diddy, Cranky, and Chunky! Please. Is that it? I did it! Oh my god. That one was so painful to do as a kid when I first tried it. We did lose a few Kongs along the way, though. He's like, yo, some of them are alright, but uh, Tiny Kong's fucking dead! But as far as I'm concerned, I beat the final boss. I, I know I wasn't as thorough with this one as I was with DKC2, but frankly, by the end of DKC2, 100% completion. I was getting pretty sick of it. And, uh, it, it's just a blast to blast through one of these games. They're just, there's such fun. And this one's no exception. I think this one gets shit on for no reason. Uh, maybe the SNES version is worse, but I, I don't know. I still don't know because I haven't played it. I may play it someday, but no promises. But I had a tremendously fun time playing this game. Uh, and, and what a nostalgia blast, too. Uh, just stuff that was deep in there. Deep in my cerebrals. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it uh, as much as I enjoyed playing it. This trilogy is, is one of the most solid trilogies of all time. I just want to get that across. DKC 1, 2, and 3, if you're into platformers and you haven't played those, do so. They are so fun. Cannot recommend enough. And for this one, maybe play the GBA version.